we have a very exciting video for today. If you saw our last video, house hunting has not been going as planned. Uh, we were getting kind of stressed out because we were faced with needing to be out of this rental and not having another place to go. So we were debating on whether we should go back to RV life, whether we should rent for six months to a year. And really it was starting to uh, get a little close, but everything is starting to fall into place and we are really excited to announce that we did find a house. Uh, but before we talk about where our new home is going to be, let's talk about our wish list. When we were in San Antonio, we showed in the last video that we had a phone call with our realtor, Mike Dialena, and we told him exactly what we were looking for in our next home what we want in our next home the type of home we're looking for is a high rise maybe a loft a condo or a multi-family yeah so the other thing we were looking at was location uh we started with downtown phoenix um, there's a lot of construction going on down there a lot of new restaurants new bars new shopping areas um, a lot of unique things going in so it was very intriguing to us Next was Old Town Scottsdale. Uh, we know that area very well. We've lived around that area for several years and lived in it for a couple. Um, we do like the area, although it has changed quite a bit in, I would say, the last five, 10 years. It's very congested there. Um, there is a lot, of, lot more people. It's very congested. The Green Belt, which is what we wanted to live off of, um, is very, very busy, um, almost too busy. Um, next is downtown Gilbert. That is an up and coming area in the East Valley of Phoenix. Um, again, a lot of new build, new construction, bars, restaurants, what have you. Um, and a lot of people moving to the area. Um, fourth, we were gonna look at Mill Avenue. Um, it's the college area. If you're not familiar with Arizona, it's where Arizona State University is. Go Sun Devils. And uh, it's just a cool atmosphere. Um, they have some cool parks um, throughout the campus and close to what's called Tempe Town Lake um, And just a lot to do a lot going on and always pretty busy. So then we Had a specific dwelling that we wanted a specific house type and then a Location, but we also had specific wants and needs for our next home So we were thinking of a pool if it was a condo or high-rise a uh, rooftop deck if it was going to be one of those just so that way we would have an outdoor entertaining space it would need to be under 1300 square feet because we really realized with full-time RVing how important living small was we wanted an open kitchen living area so that way that was all open to each other uh, we if we had an HOA have the HOA cover all utilities and then that way you know when you're if you're going to pay HOA, you might as well have them pay everything. Definitely an area for the dogs. Uh, when we RV'd, we had to let them out several times during the day, which was fine and it worked out. But ideally, if we could have a place where they could go, whether it's a patio where we could have a little pee pad for them or somewhere in the complex, maybe a dog run. We wanted to have the option, if I wanted to go visit Casey during the summer, that we would have a short-term leasing option to be able to rent it out for a few months at a time. Uh, not a lot of places had that, but that was one thing that we were really looking for. Uh, we wanted to keep our payments around $1,500 and then also have it close to public transportation. Out of all the things on our list, our new home has three things and that is under 1300 square feet room for the dogs and the chance to short-term and long-term lease so our new home we bought or are buying a three bedroom two bath under 1300 square foot house on over an acre in Apache Junction <laughs> now I know what you're thinking how on earth did we go from a condo high-rise idea in downtown Phoenix downtown Scottsdale to a property in Apache Junction and if you are unfamiliar where that location is 
It is on the east side of the Phoenix Valley. I'll pop up a map right now so you can kind of get an idea. It's pretty far out. It's like living the mountain life out here. Uh, when we were full-time RVing, we actually did stay at Lost Dutchman State Park, which is the base of the Superstition Mountains, along with the Apache Trail boondocking spot. We stayed there as well for two weeks and dry camped and really fell in love with this area. And we tried really hard to make those cities work and live in the hustle and bustle, but really that's not us. Yeah, I travel all the time in big cities and get sick of it. So um, it's really nice and peaceful out here. That's what I'm gonna need when I am back from being on the road, uh, you know, a few weeks every month. So it's a good compromise for us and we're both pretty excited. So. Yeah, so go ahead and leave a comment down below and let us know if you've ever heard of Apache Junction or stayed out here or visited. Um, so yeah, we're really excited about the property. We're here for a home inspection we're not going to give you a tour inside, but we'll kind of do a little bit of a tour of the outside of the property. Yeah, give you once an we idea. close, we'll give you a tour, um, but the owner's still in it. so Yeah, we want to be respectful and not you know, show everything that is inside. Um, so yeah, make sure that you subscribe because we'll be doing some videos of our new property. So with that being said, we'll catch, catch you on, on the flip. flip.